I'd like to tie for you an Atlantic salmon fly, but I'm going to tie it for trout, and I have it on a going to put it on a trout hook, and the hook that I'm going to use is an 80050 size 10 from Green Caddis Outfitters, GreenCaddis.com. This is a curve shank hook. It has a straight eye salmon hot salmon fly eyes or salmon hooks have an upturned eye. I'm going to use black thread and this is 70 denier and this is 6 or 8 aught 70 denier. I'm going to put a base of thread down. I've, I've been tying the salmon flies, Atlantic salmon flies for trout for many years. I, I am nowhere where I could fish for Atlantic salmon but I like these flies. And the brown trout like these flies too. I'm gonna bring that thread back to where it would hang at the barb of the hook. And we're going to start out with a tag, and this is going to be oval silver tinsel. We're gonna tie this in. And that tag on that is about two millimeters. We're going to take the tinsel and we're going to give this a couple of wraps. Two or three wraps will be good. And there's three. We want that to be about two millimeters to three millimeters. We're going to tie that in and we're going to leave that tinsel where it is. Now we're going to put the tip on and this is going to be a golden yellow floss. With the floss, you know I like to wet it a bit before I put it on. And I'm going to tie this on. And we're going to bring this up and I'm wrapping the oval tinsel in with it and we're going to bring that up about a quarter of an inch now we're going to take our floss and wrap there it looks dark because it's wet that's what it'll actually look like in the water I'm going to fold my rib back the oval tinsel is now becoming the rib. We're going to tie that down. And remove that excess. And now I want to make sure that I tie down that tag so it doesn't stick up. We got our rib on the side of the hook. Now we're going to tie in the tail, and our tail is going to be golden pheasant tippet. And we want this golden pheasant tippet to come to the end of the hook shank. It could even be slightly longer. I'm going to use that natural curve, and I'm going to keep it on my side when I start it, so it will come out right on top. There we go. I want to secure that pretty tight so it doesn't roll on us. And I'm going to trim away that excess. Now for the body I'm going to use black floss. And once again with the floss I'm going to wet it. And this tag, I'm going to keep the length of the body. 
bring that back right to the yellow and we're going to bring our thread up to we want to bring that thread up to about one and a half eye lengths from the eye of the hook we're going to take our black floss we're going to begin wrapping and we're going to wrap that forward tying these uh, salmon flies on trout size hooks it's a good relaxing thing to do in the winter when you can't get out fishing going to bring that floss up and go ahead and secure that throw a couple wraps in front I'm going to remove the excess hit that pretty close now we're going to take our oval tinsel once again I made a few in this piece of oval tinsel is getting small so I have to put my hackle pliers on it then we're going to palmer this forward and we'll tie that off And we'll remove that excess. And tidy up that head there a bit. Now I'm going to take a ring neck pheasant. Neck that's been dyed blue. I'm going to tie this in from the tip. So I'm going to put my hackle pliers on the tip of the fly. like so and then pull back all of the hackles now we're going to tie that in and we're going to remove that excess Having the black tips on there, not, no big deal. I think it adds a little bit of uh, flair to it. I'm going to pull those hackles all to one side and I'm going to wrap this. It should only take like two wraps. Once and twice. we got a lot of them going forward. I'm going to pull them back. And I'm going to tie that stem off. I'm going to take everything and pull it back. Keep that stem out forward. There we go. I'm going to trim off that stem. going to wrap back on the collar just slightly so everything goes towards the rear now I'm, I put extra wraps on the front here because I don't want to have a big step there I don't want to, I want to keep that nice taper now for our tail we're going to use red squirrel tail and we're not going to use a lot of this and the squirrel tail is very slippery doesn't matter what species it is it's just slippery stuff so we're going to take just a small amount and being slippery it slides off you'll see the thread sliding off 
going to trim that off and I'm going to put it in my hair stacker. And I'm going to stack it. I like to pull it up slightly and then tap it again. That gives you a little bit more to grab onto. Pull out any loose ones or long ones. Now we're going to measure that up and we want the tail to go right to the tip of the golden pheasant tippet. So I have that size. I'm going to go ahead and trim that off. And when I start to wrap this, I'm going to hold those, those hairs at about a 45 degree angle. And that helps to catch them. And I'm still holding them till I know that they're they're caught for sure. Then we're going to go ahead and wrap the rest of the head. Take our whip finish. Remove that. Now we're going to take our super glue and we're going to put that on there and we're going to let that soak in so it soaks in down and deep to help hold the uh, squirrel tail on especially after it gets bitten. We didn't skimp very much on that head cement. And here we have a blue charm Atlantic salmon fly tied for trout. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions. And most of all, I thank you very much for watching my videos.